Hello, welcome to the Friday, December 20th, 2019 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Well, as I mentioned yesterday, today I made the blog post live with additional details about DNS over HTTPS and how to possibly decode some of the content. The basic principle is pretty straightforward. The actual content of the DNS query, so the DNS data that would usually go over UDP is, well, sent over HTTP2, but the actual DNS content is sent in a packet by itself, and the size of this packet directly correlates with the size of the host name you're looking up. Now, not a huge vulnerability in that sense, but certainly something that should probably be fixed, and uh, Firefox already indicated that they're working on this, there is a DNS option that they can take advantage of, which will allow them to add padding to each DNS query to obscure the actual length of the query. Now, I did some testing today with different DNS over HTTPS providers. Most of them will actually not support this option. Cloudflare, for example, in my testing at least, didn't respond at all. Others responded with errors. There are only a couple that really support the option. Also interesting with Cloudflare, Cloudflare actually pads the responses that are coming back. So that's a little bit odd, even if you're not sending this option, it will still respond with that option, which is actually not quite sort of RFC compliant. Well, I'll certainly keep playing with this. And yes, I will eventually publish the PCAPs for this. I just need to clean them up a little bit and um, anonymize some of the data before I want to publish it on the website. But uh, if you want to play with some of these things, uh, there is a nice little tool called as a dick. It's well, sort of the secure version of dick comes with a uh, power DNS. And uh, with as dick, you can just send simple DOH queries from the command line, which is uh, sort of nice if you want to experiment. But if you prefer more control in the post from today, I'll show you how to do some of this with sort of a mix of scapy and curl. Uh, that also works and gives you more control over these DNS options. Well, but uh, let's take a look at good old ransomware. Yes, uh, ransomware, of course, is still a big topic and looks like some of the ransomware gangs are changing their setup a little bit. Now, so far, they have just encrypted the data, then they hoped for the victim to pay. More of these ransomware gangs are now actually threatening to leak the data if they're not being paid. Apparently the MACE uh, ransomware is already doing some of this and has already uh, published uh, some data. So the Nokibi is another strain of ransomware also known as r -Evil, and it does actually threaten uh, to send data to competing companies. Uh, not sure if that's actually sort of uh, real in that sense, but of course the nice thing with sort of the good old ransomware is that it's highly automated, not really a lot of things that the uh, attacker has to sort of adjust for a particular target. And uh, by making data public, and so of course it's a little bit more dependent on the actual content of the data and may need more manual intervention. And Google today released uh, Google Chrome 79, only fixes a single vulnerability in the media selector. Uh, still updated, well, it sort of pretty much updates itself, so not much you have to do here. Someone told me that there is an issue with some ciphers having been removed from Google Chrome that can cause problems with some websites. Haven't been able to verify this myself yet, but if you're running into this, uh, please uh, drop me a note. 
And well, that's it for today. So next week, uh, I'll be running on a somewhat abbreviated schedule. There should be a podcast specifically on Monday. Not sure if I'll do one on Tuesday and Thursday. And there'll definitely not be a podcast on Wednesday for the Christmas holiday. Thanks and talk to you again on Monday. Bye.